Hey everybody, welcome back to the Moose. That's musicmoose.org. Now that you've been practicing your forward roll and your forward roll variations, we're going to start picking on John Henry here pretty soon. But before we actually get into picking John Henry, I'd like to tell you the story of John Henry. Because I think it's important that you should know the story of John Henry, the first uh, song that you're going to be learning on the five-string banjo. Now, John Henry was born a slave around the mid-1800s. And John Henry grew up to be a very big man, a very strong man. And what he did after he grew up, he went to work for the railroad after the Civil War. And what he did for the railroad was what was called a steel driver. And what that means is that he would take a sledgehammer, if those of you who are familiar with the sledgehammer, if, if any of you are familiar with the tune, uh, the song, The Nine Pound Hammer, you know what it's all about, that sledgehammer. Well, he would take that sledgehammer, swing that over his shoulder, come down and slam that, on top of an iron spike that somebody else would be holding, by the way. So he would take that sledgehammer, come around, hit slam on top of that spike. Now I can tell you, for a fact, I have two older brothers and myself work road construction. And the three of us have all slung that sledgehammer over our heads from time to time. So you can imagine what hard work it was to swing that hammer all day long on the railroad, working for the railroad, you see. So getting back to John Henry, again, swing that hammer on that spike and drill a hole into rock. Now after he got that hole drilled, they'd fill the hole up with explosives and then blow up the rock to make room for the railroad, whether they had to go through mountains of rock or whatever they had to go through to get these railroads under construction. That's exactly what they did. So one day a salesman came to the company man and he said to the company man, I have a steam drill that can beat any man you have working here for your railroad. Well, from right that very moment, the competition was on, you see. They pitted that steam drill against John Henry. See which one could drill the hole faster. So they had their competition, and don't you know that John Henry beat that steam drill by a long shot. He drilled that hole faster, you see. Now the story also goes that he died of exhaustion at the end, but learning John Henry is not going to kill you, so... We're going to just go nice and slow with that hammer. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that when we start to, to pick on this song, John Henry, I want you to actually visualize John Henry swinging that hammer on top of that spike. And the sound that that was making when he was hitting that hammer on top of that spike. Bang. Bang. And to get that sound into your head, get that sound into your head when you start playing because it's just like a metronome, you see. And music is about timing. And you know that John Henry had to have perfect timing in order to beat that steam drill. So that's what I want you to think about, listening to that hammer hitting that spike. So I'm going to play the song John Henry now for you, the version that, we're going to be, that you're going to be learning. And uh, just so you can hear of how it's going to sound and get the song into your head. So now I'm thinking about John Henry. Now you can tap your foot along to that sound of John Henry. You can move your whole body if you want to get into that groove and just that sound of John Henry hitting that hammer with that spike. So here's John Henry. Thank you. 
first uh, version of uh, John Henry that you're going to be learning here in the next segment. So uh, I think I'll leave it right there, and you can kind of get that get that song into your head that you're going to be playing, and we're going to you're going to be picking on John Henry in no time. Um, so again. Thanks for joining me on musicmoose.org and I'll see you next time right here.